Hello. So this is a video blog of my time in Romania. I hope you don't mind having a dressing gown because I'm just cold. I thought I'd throw on a purple wig to match it at least. Yes, yeah, so I just start straight away I guess. Um, so I have all the footage on this laptop. I'm going to just talk, like do a commentary of it to let you know what was going on. So first when we arrived I knew that the journalists would be meeting us at the airport but um, I knew that the journalists would be meeting us at the airport but I didn't know there would be cameras and um, luckily I don't think they used much or any of that footage anyway but I looked really bad um, my hair was a mess, my makeup was a mess and I just looked really rough Keep in mind that I hadn't had much sleep from the night before because we had to get up at like 5, I think, 5am to get the aeroplane. No, I think we had to get to the airport by 5. So we will have got up about 3. Anyway, we went to sleep and then the next day we had to get up early at about 5. The thing is, I'd caught a bug from the airline and I was already a little bit ill, so I was like really sick. And I thought, oh my god, I can't get up, but I've come all the way to Romania, I have to do this. So I made myself get up, and then they were coming to film at the hotel in the morning, um, so I set some stuff out for them to film. I set my DS case, some magazines, my wigs and jewellery, stuff like that. And then they came to film me doing my makeup and obviously as most, you will, as most of you will know I don't like being seen without my makeup. I did cheat a little bit and I put eyebrows on um, because I didn't want obviously to be seen with no eyebrows. So they filmed me doing my makeup and then we went out to film um, a promo for the live show. It was so, oh my god, I forgot to say, it's so warm in Romania, seriously. I mean, when you come from the UK, in the Yorkshire Pennines especially, which is freezing and windy all the time and raining, and wearing all the layers that I wear and the wig and all the makeup, even the makeup feels like it's holding in heat. After I did the makeup, I mean, I didn't want to sweat my makeup off before they even started filming, so I said, um, I'll bring the wig with me and then I'll put it on when we're on location. So they agreed to it, but then we went outside and they said, actually, let me just film you here. So that's when they filmed me um stood like outside the hotel with my bag and my hair just looked a mess. I didn't style it off fluff it up or anything because I was just putting a wig over it when we got on location. I also look like I'm scowling at the camera but I was actually just squinting because the sun was so bright and it was so warm I couldn't open my eyes. So yeah, when we got on location I put my wig on. We filmed loads of stuff. Um, they filmed me just walking around, having my photo taken with people who asked for it. There was a guy who walked past, where I stopped in the window to style my wig because I forgot like hairpins I forgot them and it was like this I can't find a hairpin today that's why this is like this otherwise I would have done this with it so it's really annoying I stopped in like a window <laughs> to style my wig out a guy walked past just walked past and pulled face like whatever and stuck his thumb up so funny so then after filming that, um, I did some waiting around and then we did the live show. For the live show, I had a translator earpiece, earpiece in my ear, um, but it was hard to understand because everything else was so loud and I could barely hear it and even if I could hear it, I can't, I'm not good at understanding accents, like I can't understand Scottish people. Um, so I have no luck 
you know, understanding someone with a Romanian accent. I'm really bad at understanding people with um, strong accents, apart from Yorkshire, obviously. <laughs> Then when I start talking, she would t talk, you know, translate my words into Romanian really loud over the top. And in the footage, you can't even hear how loud it is. And when they asked how long it took to do my makeup, and I said um, about five minutes, well, five minutes, I wish. And when I said about twenty minutes to an hour, and when I said twenty minutes, they went "comor" or something like that, some Romanian words. So. About one hour, twenty Come minutes. Come on, twenty minutes. De la twenty oh, minutes, până la oră. And um, I thought they were saying, "Come on, tell us the real time. It can only take twenty minutes." And but then I realised, luckily, quite quickly, that they were translating. So I carried on and said, "To one hour, <laughs> twenty minutes to an hour." Um, Nathan was on the sidelines behind the cameras and stuff. He was filming them, filming me. So. There's some footage of that. There's the translator when she was talking and I was just sat on stage like, um, what? <laughs> and then at the end, a girl got me up to dance and I was so, I didn't know what to do so I just, I saw the audience were all, um, I saw the audience were all clapping to the beat of the song and she was so I just started going and clapping too. But I felt so awkward but I tried to keep a smile on my face so I looked relaxed and not awkward but in my head I was like oh my god what what am I doing what do I do because I don't dance in nightclubs I, I don't dance I dance choreographed dance but and I dance around in my room just messing around but you don't want to see that that is really funny <laughs> but I mean I can't dance like that on the stage it would call an ambulance and say I'm having a fit or something and they kept saying Barbie and I'm like where are you getting this from? I've never said that I'm inspired by Barbie or any dolls whatsoever and I tried to tell them loads of times um, I'm not inspired by Barbie, I'm inspired by um, a Japanese fashion called Kyaru and they were like Oh, no, 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 Barbie, Barbie. And I was like, okay, yes. And um, I mean, I f it makes me cringe because I don't want people to think that I think I look like Barbie because Barbie is this perfect Barbie. It's Barbie. And I would love to look like Barbie, but there's no way, in, there's no way that I ever would. Um, even, if I, even if I did try to look like her. So... Yeah, it just made me cringe, and they kept saying, you're so pretty, you're so beautiful, and I'm like, I don't know what to say to that, because it's not, obviously, most of you, you will know that's not my goal, my aim, that's not my aim, my aim is to just have fun with makeup, wigs, and look interesting, and look how I want to look, I mean, I'd like to look pretty or beautiful, and then at the end, I embarrassed myself. I embarrassed myself so much on that trip. She was passing me the microphone. I was there clapping, going, oh, very good, very good. And then she passed me the microphone. I didn't see it. And then she said, take the microphone, please. I turn around, take it. And then I walk away. Because I, I thought they were going back to interview or something. I had no clue what was going on. Not even for one second in this whole trip to Romania. So then she was like, no, stay here, stay here. And I came back and I was like, oh, sorry. Then we went back, I had a while to change for The Late Show, which was another show, another live show. So, and I was really feeling really sick at this point. So, I just changed my makeup up a tiny bit, changed my clothes and changed my wig and my nails. And then I went to the, like, the late live show. It's funny to look back on, but at the time, I was almost passing out pretty much and throwing up. Here I am waiting until the show starts in the holding room um, feeling really sick. I kept feeling worse and worse every every minute. And when the show started I was thinking, oh my god, I hope I don't throw up on stage or 
pass out or anything so then you can see me walking on and I'm thinking just pretend you feel fine you don't feel sick at all and then as if that wasn't enough and also I was really sweating and you can see my wig's really frizzy and everything so yeah as if that wasn't enough the earpiece didn't work it stopped working I was sat there think, listening thinking um, I can't hear anything and then I thought maybe it just doesn't need translating so I was waiting to hear something and then I saw that he was looking at me and talking to me and I was like oh my god he's asking me something so I looked over to the translator and she was raving her arms frantically at them and looking really really annoyed and I was like um, what do I do so I just went sorry Sorry? Which one of your... Of, uh... And then the start, one of the guys um, started translating in English for me. When he started translating in English, the earpiece started working again. So I was trying to understand her Romanian accent speaking English to me. But then I was trying to hear what he was saying as well. And I'm like, why is she translating English to me in English? I can, it, it would be better if I could just hear him. So I, I still, I couldn't understand what he was saying, even though he was speaking English. I think he asked, which Barbie is my favourite? And I thought, which Barbie? I thought there was only one Barbie, the blonde one. Maybe I don't know much about Barbie, but I thought she was blonde. So I just said, um, the blonde one. And then he said, so predictable, you can see my face, I just smile, and I'm like, I have no idea what to say, and I'm trying not to pass out, so I just try and look like, ah, oh, yes, I'm quiet. So I couldn't hear what they were saying, because she'd be yapping on my ear, and sometimes in Romanian, really loud in my ear, in the earpiece. And then they asked something about hair colour, and I thought, hair colour, and I said, um, yes, I, hair colour, um, I like blonde and pink, the most. Even though, I don't even know if that's true, I don't really have a favourite, I just like all hair colours. But I just wanted it to be over with. And then I embarrassed myself again, the like assistant presenter came on, we shook hands and then she leaned in to kiss my cheek and I thought, oh they do that over here, like the kiss on the cheek thing, so I just went like that and then sat down. I didn't know that you do too. So I looked really rude and it was so embarrassing, I was like, oh my god, sorry. And when I saw them laughing, I mean, I don't hug people, so I don't go around kissing people on the cheek. <laughs> when I'm sad, they're looking really bad. I just, that's when I felt like I was going to pass out, like the room was spinning. My eyesight kept like dimming, I don't know how to say it, but my eyesight kept dimming as well and then I had to go and do her makeup so I was like what if I pass out and poke her in the eye with it like an eyeliner or something but I managed to do it anyway her face was really nice to apply makeup to so that was quite fun um, and then she chose a wig to wear and she chose this one that I'm wearing now it suits her so much better <laughs> and then we had to sit there for two hours until the show stopped and then they unveiled her and then I finally got to go back to the hotel and it was about two in the morning I think I was so tired and so so ill and plus the lenses had been in my eyes for how long way more than you're supposed to keep them in I can't remember how long from early morning till early morning the next day so a long time so we, we started back to the hotel there was loads of crows flying in the sky which I enjoyed so then we got back to the hotel and I just passed out and fell asleep the next day I felt really bad but I thought we're in a different country we can't just stay in bed all day and then we went to like a supermarket, a shopping centre, shopping mall, mall. So we went to a shopping centre. It was just like any other shopping centre, so that was a bit disappointing, you know, with all the usual shops. Actually, no, it wasn't just like any other supermarket. It had an ice rink and a roller coaster, so that was quite interesting. It also had a fountain, 
outside which was nice. I also took video footage of my shoes because I just really love those shoes so much. So pretty. And I followed Pigeon around for a while. I really love pigeons, they're so cute and funny. I could watch them forever. And then we went to the bar and got a little bit drunk but then I started feeling too ill so I went to sleep. And then the next day I was feeling better. I mean still ill but so much better than I was the day before. Um, so we went to like a market, an indoor market and I bought some like shoulder things and I'll, I'll show you them. I'm going to do a haul video, is that what they're called, where you show things that you've bought, I don't know, um, but I'm going to do a video showing things that I've acquired recently, and um, I'm going to do that soon, hopefully. Then we went to the supermarket again, and I, we went straight to the fridge section, and I was just cooling down in the fridge section, like you do. And then when we got back, we raided the mini fridge. And we got super drunk. Keep in mind, the next morning we had to get up, I think 3 in the morning, to get the aeroplane back to the UK. But we thought, oh, that's future, us problem, we'll be alright, we'll be fine, we need to enjoy our last night. So we drank all the alcohol, we went to the bar in the hotel, we drank all the alcohol there. Um, as you can see there, I'm drinking. And then after we'd gotten drunk, like, really drunk because all of the alcohol was free to us because all of the hotel bill was paid by the TV shows so we wanted to you know, make the most of it basically and so we got super drunk and I'm going to show you some of us each now of me drunk and it's so embarrassing <laughs> but on the lift, in the lift back up to our room I was just talking and then I made a really weird noise <coughs> I don't remember this at all. I should explain this. We've been reading Lord of the Rings recently. So when we were on our way to Romania, I said to Nathan, because I wasn't really looking forward to it because I was already ill at the time. So I said to Nathan, how I'm thinking of it is like Lord of the Rings, it's a quest. And we're going from the Shire to Mordor and we're going to finish our quest and then we can make the return journey back to the Shire which I do live in a shire, Yorkshire. So yeah, that was kind of an ongoing thing between us. I just kept saying, let's go back to the shire. And we kept saying it like, I want to go back to the shire. Casually accent, but like, Mary and Pippin type accent. So, yeah, so I was in Marda, and it was Marda because it was so boiling all the time. I'm in Marda. I want to go back to the Shire. And then I start doing loads of drunk things like dancing around and stuff. I don't even know what I was doing. But I thought it was funny at the time. I don't know if you know this, but Nathan talks an awful lot. He, he talks, yup, 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 yup. <laughs> He's like a little old woman when he watches it up. <laughs> but I like it. It's better than not talking at all. So, when we finally went to sleep, we were super drunk, and then the next day when we woke up, well a few hours later when we woke up, I was still drunk but starting to get the hangover. But after throwing up a few times I felt a bit better and then we went to the airport, we got on the aeroplane, still feeling really sick. And then when we got to Amsterdam, because we stopped over in um, Amsterdam for the connection flight, I started feeling a tiny bit better. Um, but I didn't really feel 100% better until we were back in the UK. And I said to him, come out of the 
dolls, I'll film you coming out of the doors and then jump up like you're really happy to be alive because we would come, we we thought that the aeroplane would crash because we don't have good luck as it is so why would we have good luck, good enough luck to go to Romania and then come back and be untouched do you know, I thought at least we'd get like stabbed or something whilst we were over there but nothing happened, I mean apart from me almost throwing up passing out on live TV and stuff um, we were really lucky, nothing happened so when we came back they'd come through and then jump up like you're happy to be alive and this is what he did Obviously he doesn't look happy to be alive, he looks the exact opposite like why did the European not crash? For a link to the actual clips from the TV shows that I was on whilst I was over there I'm going to put a link in the description or you can just click here Here, yeah, let me know what you think anyway Oh, by the way, this is why I keep my nails, these, these are some of my nails This sunlight always comes the most Anyway, so these are some of my nails, I've put them in the sunlight so you can see them Um. Yeah, someone asked where I kept my nails, so I thought I'd just show you It's in like a firm thing or something they're all on cocktail sticks and blue tack. Yep, I think that's it. And hopefully, I'll be uploading a Halloween video. I wanted to do like a short video, Halloween special. I've been planning it since before last Halloween because I wanted to do one last Halloween, but I thought there's not enough time, I'll do it next year. And here I am next year and I still haven't done it because I don't think with the equipment I have it just look too bad quality so I thought why bother. Anyway please tell me any video ideas you have that I could do and um, please like, comment, favourite and subscribe if you have the time and want to help me out because it really does help me out and I appreciate every single comment and like and subscriber. Bye!